Hey there, it's Big Mo with another statue review. I thought today we'll look at the Iron Studios quarter scale falcon statue. So this is from the movie Civil War. So I'll give you a bit of a background on this statue. So falcon is part of a diorama. So back when Civil War was made, Iron Studios made six statues altogether. And the way they made the statues was they had uh, Captain America pretty much versus Iron Man. So on one side you had Falcon, you had Bucky, and you had Captain America. And if you bought all three of those, the bases would all link together. And you'd form a nice diorama. Now with the other three statues, they also did Iron Man, War Machine, and uh, Black Panther. So they also formed another three uh, statue diorama, uh, which would be on the other side. So you had Captain America versus Iron Man. Um, and when you've got all six, they look fantastic. But unfortunately, this is the only one I've got out of the six, um, which is Falcon. So we'll have, we'll have a good look at Falcon today. I do have my eye out for the other five. I'd love to one day pick up the other five and make the big diorama but they go for ridiculous prices on eBay. So I'm just gonna to have to be patient and keep my eye out and hopefully I'll pick them up at close to retail um, in the near future so I can make the big diorama. So let's have a look at Falcon. So Falcon, they made about 300 odd pieces of this. So there's not a lot out there, very low ES number, which is why this piece actually goes for quite a bit on the secondary market. Um, it's absolutely huge the wingspan on that is about 80 centimeters so you need you need a space that's at least 80, 80 centimeters wide to put this and heights around 75 centimeters so it's a really good height as well so he's on this really huge base it's it's one of the biggest spaces i've probably got in my collection so um it's a concrete themed base as you can see i'll zoom up so you can have a look at the detail here Iron Studios did a great job to make it look like concrete um, and obviously, you know, damaged concrete. If I, if I uh, have a look on this side, you can actually see some of the uh, steel founda uh, foundations sticking out of the concrete there and a bit of rubble on the floor. So, as far as the base goes, a lot of detail in it. I really like it. And then Falcon standing on this... Um, looks like I guess like air condition event at the top here so again weathered a lot of detail um, looks really nice looks really really nice so when you get the other pieces which is Ant-Man and um, Bucky it actually joins onto the side of this base so the three bases will join together to make a nice diorama. So let's have a look at, we'll start at the bottom, we'll have a look at his boots. So with Iron Studios, they don't do mixed media. So everything you see here is a statue, so polystyrene. And you can see the detail, I mean it looks mixed media, doesn't it? It looks material, but it's actually, uh, it is polystyrene. But for me, the highlight of this statue is the portrait. The portrait is incredible. For quarter scale, Iron Studios nailed it. I'd say this would be my, my best portrait, I think, out of all my quarter scale statues that I have. I mean, that looks like Falcon, right? Absolutely amazing. Look at the detail of his hands as well. Look at the fingernails. Really, really impressed. See the wrinkles in his forehead? The hair looks incredible. Yeah, very, very good portrait from Mind Studios. So there's only one switch out for this and it's his left arm. So you do have an option of pulling that left arm out and putting another arm in and it's just a straight punch in the air so you're gonna have 
one gun on one side and a punch, I guess, on the other side. But I've gone with the two guns pointing up in the air. I think this is the best look for Falcon. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with uh, this portrait. So I have a good look at the wings, close look at the wings. Some really good scales in the wings here. They did a fantastic job. And like I said, they're huge, right? So you need 80 centimeters to fit this statue in your collection. The colors are really nice, aren't they? They did a good job with the colors. You can see just a little bit of weathering as well in the corners. Look at the vein in his arm there. Yeah, what do you think? I think the detail looks really, really good. So now the challenge for me is to is to find the other five, so uh, I can have the complete set. Because I did love Civil War. Civil War is one of my uh, favourite Avengers movies. But unfortunately, I was a bit late to the party, so this was the only one I could pick up at the time at retail. The others were already gone and sold out. So that's my mission for the next couple of years to try to find the other five pieces. So that's a good look at Falcon. I hope you like that. I'm sure you agree. That is one amazing portrait. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be posting some more reviews over the coming weeks. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and thanks for watching.